All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, for shit is truth and sincerity, while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And having faith to truly believe in this gospel is a form of spiritual power. Okay. And everything has a very beginning and a tipping point. You know, at first, you know, something might start off as a very small seed. But then when it is planted into the ground, you see one root come out of it. And then you start to see more roots come out of it. And right before you know it, you got a, you got a stem, it's tender, you know, very tender stem. But eventually it becomes into what you see it today. Rather if it, it might be a tree, it might be bushes, it might be grass. You know, at one point, it was just a tiny little seed. Okay. Now, concerning spiritual power, you can also look at it in that same aspect. Okay. And I say that because you know, a lot of our people, when they think of spiritual power, you know, they think of being able to fly and, and you know, teleport, you know, being able to dive in and swim inside of the ground like a shadow, pop up behind your enemies to slice them in half or, you know, snap their neck, you know, knock them 30 feet up into the air, then you teleport up into the air and you start beating the shit out of them, you know, just, just flying through the air, whooping their ass flying all throughout the air to just hitting them with all kind of stylish combos and you know being able to shoot fireballs out of your hands and call down lightning from from the ground to the sky or from the sky to the ground being able to form shields around yourself but what our people don't understand is that before spiritual power can get to that level you must first be given the gift of faith. And right now, we can't fly. We can't heal people. You know, we can't shoot lightning out of our hands, iron blasts, Kamehameha's, oh, whatever. We can't do those things right now. But what we do have is the ability to believe in that which we cannot see, feel, hear, touch, smell, taste. And to believe in those type of things through faith, that's a form of spiritual power. That type of belief will lead to certain brothers being able to fly and teleport and shoot fireballs out of their hands and, you know, shoot lasers out of their eyes and, you know, be, being able to stop time, freeze the ground, <laughs> you know, turn everything around them into ice. But it all starts with faith. You know, and that faith, you know, like Yahushai said, starts as a grain of mustard seed. In which... When we read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, it says what? For, 
for by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. You see that? So the Lord is letting you know that you didn't choose to wake up one day and want to serve this truth, okay? You were given a special gift. And that special gift is called faith, okay? You were given a special gift to believe in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. You see that? Father is there, his son is there, and that if you're of the elect, they want they want to see you receive salvation. They they want they want to call you back to their side. They want you back to their side. So you can receive those new bodies. So you can uh, be crowned, be glorified, you know, be honored, respected. As you should be as a member member of the elect, okay? So faith has to be given to you first Because if, if, if you can believe that that he is you know thus that's what the Heavenly Father's name is in the Hebrew You know and that's beautiful because the moment I said the Heavenly Father's name the Sun comes shining out You know, it's kind of chilly out here so I, th I think it's spiritual how as soon as I said Yahweh, the sun just just began shining, you know, making it, you know, warmer out here. So, you know, we are approaching the winter time where we're literally entering into the time of fall season. Which is beautiful because millions of people are going to fall this year, literally. Rather, if it's through rebellions, protests, riots, okay? Being locked up or being killed over stupid shit, being judged, okay? Being deleted by animals, you know? Many, are, millions are, are going to fall this year, you know? So, you know, hey, we're, we're literally in a season of fall. And the Heavenly Father is going to start dropping bodies, just like that one song, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, okay? <coughs> you know? Most sides gonna start dropping dropping bodies out here. But um okay, you see, faith is a gift. Okay. You know? And indeed, you know, it takes faith to um to not eat pork. You know, it takes faith to believe that the Sabbath is based upon the new moon. Okay? <coughs> takes faith to go out on the highways and hedges and teach and to believe that one day this country is going to be destroyed you know the way the bible is worded you know you don't see america in the bible you know you don't see russia in the bible you don't see nuclear warheads in the Bible okay and a matter of fact you know the, 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 the men the prophets that you read about in the scriptures that wrote about these future coming prophecies you know those visions they had that was a form of spiritual power you know John the Revelator being able to you know see the RFID micro C hip on the island of Patmos that's spiritual power, you know? Because technology did not exist back then, you know? The uh, technology to be able to operate ICBM missiles, that did not exist during the time of the Roman Empire. You know, prophets like Jeremiah who saw the, the uh, destruction of Babylon, Isaiah, you know, okay? To have those type of visions would mean that you you have some form of a uh, uh, spiritual power okay so um uh, you know there were particular men in the scriptures you know who had visions 
And these visions were all written down through faith and belief in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty much off the clock. I'm back home. Well, I'm not back home, but I'm on my way back home from work. And I'm currently waiting on the bus. So, um, as I was saying, you know, you know, having faith to believe in this truth, you see, is spiritual power within itself. You know, but believing that, you know, you know, just believing in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and in His Son, Yahweh Shai, alone, you know, is spiritual power within itself. Because, you know, it's not like we can see the Heavenly Father or His Son. We can't feel them. We can't smell them. We can't hear them. But through faith, we know, we know they are there and judgment is always going out through them, you know. So by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves, right? Mean, meaning well, we did not give ourselves the gift of faith. Faith was given from Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it is the gift of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and um, furthermore, what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." Okay, so those who are chosen to hear this truth and understand it and do what is written therein through faith. Okay, they have been chosen to be given the gift of faith to be able to go out on the highways and hedges and do all those things of the sort. Now, you see, so if you if, if you have faith, you know, you you have a form of spiritual power because you're moved by the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai through faith. You know, and through faith, faith is what led to repentance. It's what led to you changing your lifestyle. It's what led to you growing out your beard again, your mustache, not making baldness upon your head. OK, uh, 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 faith has led you to going out and teaching even in the wintertime when it's freezing outside, you know. So faith, faith indeed is a form of spiritual power, you see. But again, you know, before the flying and the, the shooting of the fireballs and, you know, shooting lasers out of your eyes and making ice cold blizzards burst out from your body, freezing everything around you and teleporting, you know, and you disappearing and re reappearing, you know, before all that, it all starts with believing in the word of Yahweh. And faith that small, you know, somebody with, with little faith like that has a, a form of spiritual power. So let's see, um, let's type in mustard seed. Okay, because I did not forget about that. Okay. And you know, bear with me, it, it is freezing outside. <laughs> I should have brought my uh, my jacket. Okay, let's see. Let's, see. let's see what happens when we type in mustard seed. Okay, Matthew, now I'll just type this in. And then let's type in mustard seed. Here we go. Beautiful. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, 
because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you if if ye right have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, move hence, remove hence into yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So how powerful is that, man? You know, and, and uh, a mustard seed is a very small seed. So think about that. You've been given the faith, you know, to come up on a level, to learn the scriptures, to go out and teach, to repent daily, to do videos. OK, be brotherly, be humble, fast. You know, this is all done through faith, which is what a form of spiritual power. OK. And after all these, what's going to come next? OK, the actual spiritual power where you'll be able to fly and teleport and read people's minds and, you know, to tele telepathy or telekinesis, <laughs> you know, you'll be able to knock a motherfucker out without even touching them. OK, let's get that in uh, the book of John. So let's go into the um, the actual spiritual power aspect of the Holy Scriptures because, okay, uh, like Yahweh Shai said, you know, you know, he that believeth on him, the works that he do, right, that that Yahweh Shai did, shall he do also. Okay, uh, John chapter 14, verse 12, it says, verily, verily, which verily means truly, you know, truly, honestly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And Yahawashai did some very miraculous works before in the past. And a matter of fact, Yahawashai did so many miracles that it is said that they they cannot be recorded in a book. Okay. Now I have a book called The Miracles of Yahweh Shai, which maybe one day, Lord's will, I would like to have a camera and actually read from that book, you know, to further edify you. But spiritual power is coming, you know. But spiritual power starts with believing in the word of Yahweh. <laughs> okay, which leads to repentance, you know. It leads to that new man being developed. And ultimately, it leads to you receiving spiritual power and salvation. Okay, but it starts with believing on the word. Which believing on the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, that is a form of spiritual power within itself. Because prior to waking up to the truth, you didn't know who you were. You didn't know your nationality. You know, none of us did, you know. However, you know, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai led us to this truth, whether if it's by videos or, you, you know, you might have walked up the camp. However, it was done. And now here you are, you know fulfilling prophecy you know calling on Yahweh while Yahweh Shai in the land of captivity remembering who you are which is uh, you know you're remembering your nationality the nationality that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave you you know you're, you're, you're remembering who you are in the land of your captivity proclaiming to the wicked their downfall you see So again, before being able to fly and teleport and shoot fireballs out of your hands and shoot iron blasts out of your mouth, before all that, 
It all starts with believing on the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai. And to believe on the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, is to believe on the gospel. To believe in the Holy Scriptures. Because Yahweh Shai, he is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Okay? The son of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh Shai, he is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Okay? Okay? So it starts with believing on the 100% truth of the Holy Scriptures. And to do, to do, when we, to, no, to do, to do that means to believe on Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. So if you have the 100% truth, you have Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the 100% truth. So to believe on Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, you know, it is to believe in the Heavenly Father and in His Son. You know, and that takes a form of spiritual power to do that, which is done through what? Through faith. Okay. And you know, Salaki is chilly out. I did not bring my jacket, so, you know, I'm just. You know, I'm just dealing with it. But um, verily, uh, uh, John 14, verse 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And what, what were some of the works that Yahweh Shai did? Well, we know that he walked on water. He turned uh, 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 water into wine. Okay, he transfigured himself. Um, when, when, when he was up in the mountain, and you know, and basically he became as Moses and Elijah. <laughs> you know, he disappeared in the midst of a crowd of people. When, 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 when our people tried to pick up stones to stone him, you know, Yahweh held people with, healed people with leprosy. He cast demons and devils out of people. You know, he raised people from the dead. He gave, you know, Israelites who were blind back their sight. And he did all this to Israelites, by the way. Okay, Yahweh Shai was not going, you know, going around, you know, healing heathens and shit. Nah. Yahweh Shai was going around healing his people. Okay. As a matter of fact, when Yahweh Shai spoke to those wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, Yahweh Shai told him, like, look, they uh, that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Okay? They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. And the ones that are sick is talking about the Israelites, right? And what confirms that? Well, when you go to the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, right? What did Isaiah say concerning our people? He said, a sinful nation of people laden with iniquity. You know, the whole head is sick. I mean, he said, the whole, the whole head is sick and, and, and the heart faint or something along them lines. Okay? So the sick is talking about our people. What, what, are, our, what are our people sick from? Well, it, it's their iniquities. Okay? The fact that our people have forgotten their power. You know, they forgot who delivered them out of the land of Egypt. You know, their iniquities is what makes them sick. They, they need to be healed from their transgressions, which, you know, our people, we are going to get salvation, but it starts with the elect on this side, you see. And two thirds of our people, when they perish on this side, they're going to get their healing, their salvation when they come back in the reincarnation through the loins of the elect in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So, you know, I mean, if you're eating pork, you're sick, man. 
If you're committing adultery, you're sick. If you're a mo or a transformer, you're sick. Okay? If you if, if, if you if you over here wearing dreads, you think shit is cool, it's the new fashion trend. Hey, look, you're sick. Okay? <laughs> okay, you're lining yourself up. Okay, you're, you're eating unclean foods, you're sick. But anyways, you know, Yahawashai was healing the sick. Okay? Me meaning in a sense, you know, some of our people had illnesses, diseases, you know. Some of our people had had diseases like the palsy. You know, he healed he healed our, he healed our people of, of those elements. And what was the main thing he will always tell our people after he will heal them? Go thy way and sin no more. Because the reason why they were sick or the reason why they had leprosy or the reason why they had the palsy or whatever ailment they had upon them, the reason why they were blind was because at the end of the day, it was judgment brought upon them from the heavenly father. So if you sin again, then the Lord might bring them plagues back on you and then even stronger ones, you see? So that's why he would say, you know, after he would heal, you know, the Israelite, he would say, go thy way and sin no more. You know, the, the woman that had the issue of blood, you know, when she grabbed, when she grabbed his, um, his garment, <laughs> you know, she, she was healed. Okay. Okay, so the point is that I'm um, fighting to make here is that there were many miracles that Yahweh Shai performed. Okay, there were many miracles that Yahweh Shai performed, you know. So when Yahweh Shai told his disciples, look, he that believeth on me. He well, he that believeth on him, the works that he do, shall he do also. Okay. But, um, okay. Excuse me. Okay, so it says, he that believeth on me, right? The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. Why? Because I go unto my Father. You see that? So, you know, spiritual power is coming, you know, but it all starts with faith, you know. Now, something else that I would like to do is let's go to the book of Romans, okay? Because Paul explains it beautifully in the book of Romans, okay? Giving you a good idea of what faith is and what faith is like. You know, I'm just turning it on. Starlights. Okay. Romans, let's go to Romans, the eighth chapter. You see, so let's see. Let's 
receive that the righteousness of the Okay, so let's start here at Romans chapter 8, verse 5. Okay, it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Okay, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, you know, and when it comes to being in this truth, right, there is a huge gap between being spiritually minded and being carnal minded because when you're carnal minded, you're thinking about the things that only you can see. No oh, shit. My phone is on eight batteries. You know, you're thinking about the things that 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 only you can see. OK, verse five, it says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. You see. But when you mind the things of the spirit, you know. That's a different vibration, okay? Then your your vibration becomes, uh, excuse me, the vibration that you come with becomes spiritual. You know, you're you're on a spiritual vibration, you know. So you you know that the things you witness around you and the things that happen around you in your life. You understand that, you know, man's goings are of the Lord. You see? So, you know, you're, you're not getting all bent out of shape when you see a, a little seven-year-old child getting shot by, a, a, you know, a stray bullet. Or, you know, um, an old lady might be trying to cross the street and then, you know, a guy that's on a run from the police ends up running her over, putting her to death. You see? Because, you see... He, you're you're looking at things from a spiritual view. You know that, you know, that was that that was that lady's judgment. That was that child's judgment. And, you know, the Lord wanted to call the spirit back to the spirit world. So, you know, you also understand that when good things happen to you in your life, it's the Lord. <laughs> OK. And all this belief comes from faith. Faith would leads which leads to what? Studying. <coughs> okay it says for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is what is life and peace I'm about to turn the notifications off here. Bear with me for one moment. So, um, it says because the carnal mind, which when you go into that word carnal, it means fleshly. It means physical, but it can also mean temporal because the carnal mind is enmity, which when you look up that word enmity, what do you get? You get hostility for the carnal mind is hostility against Yahweh, Bashem. Yahweh Shai, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. In which, you know, that's going to be a lesson for another time. But you see, when you're on this planet, ultimately, there's two di there's two different ways you're you're living on this planet and that's either by the spirit or after the manner of the flesh now to live after the manner of the flesh means to do the things of your mind's desire you don't care if it's evil if it's wicked if it's offensive against the lord 
or even if it's good. Which no good thing dwells in your flesh, which when you go into that word flesh is really going into your mind. Because where do all your thoughts come from? Where do your imaginations come from? Where do your ideas and your intents come from? It comes from your mind. It ain't coming from your hand. It ain't coming from your stomach or your kidneys. No, it's coming from your mind. So the, the flesh ultimately, yeah, you know, we're, 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 we're living in these fleshly bodies, but the flesh is ultimately talking about your mind. So then they that are in the flesh, meaning they that live after their mind, you know, you're not living after what the Lord has set up, you know, you, but you're basically living after the flesh, right? They that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, you see. And when you're in the spirit, you're walking according to that which the, which the Lord have commanded you, you see. You're living by the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, okay? You're doing those things which, which are pleasing in the sight of the Lord, which goes back to what? Faith, Right? But ye are not in the flesh. You know, we don't live after the mind or, 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 or the desires of what the mind want, because the scriptures tell you that the mind is desperately wicked. OK, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He is none of his. Okay, so now let's skip down to. <laughs> liberty of his children. Let's go. Okay, Romans chapter eight, verse twenty four. And what, what do we read here? For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? And that hope, you know, when you have hope in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you're, you're being spiritual, you know. And, and, and when you have hope in something, you have expectation in it. But what is it that you're hoping in? OK, well, if you're of the elect, you're hoping for the biblical prophecies to come to pass, which takes what? Faith. <laughs> OK, so you see, if you have if you have faith, you have some form of spiritual power because it takes faith to believe in, in the prophecies that are written. Especially the biblical prophecies that are written in the Old Testament that have not even came to pass yet. But through faith, you know that it will come to pass. OK. So, no, I mean, we're not just I mean, we hope to be of the elect, right? We're not just sitting around in a corner waiting for time to pass by. Nah, man. No, you know, we're, we're active. You know, Lord's will, we're of the elect. You know, we're, we're doing what we need to do to make our calling and election sure. Okay. It says, for we are saved by hope. Hope in what? Well, salvation. That's one of the prophecies written. We know that the elect is going to receive salvation. We know that the elect is going to receive spiritual power. We know that the elect is going to receive a hedge protection. You know, the elect is going to be led through the fire, like it tells you in Zechariah 13 and 9. Our the Lord said he would bring the third part through the fire. Okay. But it takes faith which is a form of spiritual power to believe those things are going to happen. Okay.
Okay? So it says, but hope that is seen is not hope. And when you're carnal minded, you're you're hoping in the things which can be seen. Okay? You know, you're you're hoping in the things that can be seen. 144, Shai. Okay, so it says, it says, but if we hope for that, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, right? Because who I mean who who can see, you know, men flying around and and you know, doing all these miraculous things and healing people and well healing Israelites that are of the hopeful elect, right? That are of the elect, you know, uh, uh you know. You know, be, being able to run like the flash, you know, being able to teleport and move like lightning and dodge bullets. Who can see those things happening? Yeah, you know, I mean, you got Jake in the world, you know, <laughs> you know, Jake, Jake loved doing parody videos of, you know, anime characters and, you know, Jake doing all these, these, um, these anime videos were from flying and teleporting and, you know. But they think that those things are only possible behind a green screen, you know, like it's only possible if it if it's CGI, you know, but little do they know that there's going to be actual men on this planet, Israelites, Israelite men, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indian men. That are of the hopeful elect, okay, that are of the elect, that are actually going to be doing these things in real life. You're not going to just be seeing these things on TV. And you see, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, he threw a lot of you, you jakes off. Because, yeah, he came out with these movies such as Axe Man and, you know, Man of Steel, Superman. You know, you got DC Comics with, with Black Adam and, you know... Dark side and Superman and you know you got the Green Lantern and you know, but he also told your ass that those movies are science fiction, and which that is a damn lie. Because the Bible, because where do you think they got the idea of Axe Man and Superman and the Green Lantern all the, all those things from? They got it from the Holy Scriptures. So Esau, he'll put these movies out there about spiritual power, but then he'll turn around and tell your ass the science fiction, knowing damn well he got it from out of the Bible. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you Jakes, you believe that during during you ain't gonna never see nobody flying without some kind of mechanism attached to them or uh, no. The Lord's gonna give give particular of his man the ability to fly, teleport, it, disappear, reappear. You gonna see things. Now, I, a lot of you guys out there, you're going to see things in these last days that you thought you would only see on TV, but it's going to be right in front of you. OK, <laughs> Israelite men, so-called Negro, Latino and Native Indian men just teleporting and getting busy on these super soldiers and whooping their ass and, you know, rescuing uh, Israelite women. <laughs> hey, you know. Women being joined to them. You know, you can see men flying through the air. You know, men that are blindfolded. You know, just navigating through neighborhoods, through through bullets, through missiles, through rockets. Fucking striking through drones and shit. Come on, man. So those things are coming. But if we hope for that. We see not, then do we with patience wait for it? So you know the you know the person you know you, the guys out there with with the carnal mind and shit they can't see this actually happening in real life. That's because they have no faith, and that little bit of faith, right? Again, 
Okay. That that little bit of faith. Okay. It, it, it is a, a form of spiritual power. That 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 that, you know. Will lead to you believing in the things that are written. You know, and I'm saying that. You know. You got to have a, 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 a form of spiritual power to be able to believe in everything that's written in the Holy Scriptures. Because no average person can just read the Bible and believe everything that is written, especially the prophecies in the Old Testament that have not came to pass yet. But through 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 faith, through that form of spiritual power, right through the Havrachah Kodash, you have the understanding to know that there's prophecies in the Old Testament that have not came to pass. But will come to pass. Okay. You see, so all the all, you know, spiritual coming, uh, spiritual power, spiritual coming, <laughs> no, spiritual power is coming, Akio. You know, for those of you that are of the elect, you're already on the right path. You're already on the right path to being able to fly and teleport and shoot fireballs out of your hands. All you have to do is keep the faith, which it's prophesied that you are going to keep the faith. Because you're of the elect, who whoever you may be out there, you know. But we know that the elect, okay, the, the Lord is going to give certain of His elect men spiritual power, you know, in these last days, you know, healing, you know, uh, healing, you know, or, or just well, whatever the Lord. Is giving you spiritual power for you know it could be to you know to hide you from from the, the the wrath of Esau you know it could be to give you the ability to fly because you know Esau might might have your neighborhood surrounded with tanks and shit tanks and wraps drones but spiritual power is coming and if you have faith and you believe in these prophecies that are written then you already have a form of spiritual power. So with that, I'm going to say, now I pray and hope that you sincere brothers and few sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.